Hey there, YouTube. This is Michael with Michael Mays Leatherworks. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about setting rivets with the manual setters. Um, I've seen a few videos on this online, but I just figured I would make uh, an instructional video to help get this information out there. Um, don't really need a, a whole lot to do this. Of course, we need the leather that we're going to join together, which I have these two pieces here, which is... Uh, relatively thick leather. Let me, see. Let me grab my my uh, my leather gauge tool here, and we'll just uh, we'll check it. This piece here, we're looking at. Uh, it's about eight ounces. You can see there. And then this other piece we're going to join together. This is some of the thicker leather that I've got. You can see that's, uh, that's a 12 ounce piece there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a quick rivet. And a quick rivet that's uh, flat on the, side, on the one end like this. It's got a post coming up. And then you have a separate little cap right here that'll go on the post. Now to set these manually, you'll need your setter, which here is a, uh, a flat end. That's where you strike it with your mallet. Never hit these with a metal uh, hammer. And then you have the other end is kind of concave, uh, has a little bit of a dome shape. Um, that way when you go to set the rivet, you don't flatten it out. Now you're either going to need a punch driver, which is a uh, hole punch like this, or you're going to need a rotary punch driver or a hole punch like this one here. Uh, I picked this one up from uh, Tractor Supply, I believe, for like $10. It has a removable uh, anvil piece here, and of course this piece here rotates for you to choose which uh what size hole you want to make i'll be using the smallest one because we want a snug fit on our uh, rivets okay so first thing i'll do is i'm gonna go ahead and create two holes so uh, so that we can set the uh now when you when you go down on these and you press in all the way you want to grab your leather just turn it to the side like this that makes sure that you have a nice clean cut all the way through as you can see there no worries and then again on this one go all the way down until you feel the anvil turn it so that we know we've got a nice clean punch and then as you can see we can see the board through it so we're good there and with this one, it actually has a cutting blade on it. So it's important when you're done with it to hook it back so you don't accidentally cut yourself on that. And that blade is replaceable. I wouldn't make large cuts with it, but for small things, it, it does work pretty well. All right, I'm gonna get the camera readjusted here. Get you guys zoomed in just a touch. Like I said, you have to excuse me for right now. I am doing these on my cell phone. Um, it is the only camera that I have um, at the moment. So I'm trying to make, you know, make do with what I've got. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the post. And we'll set it down right there. Let's move it over here to where we in frame a little bit better. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to set our two pieces of leather over the post. <laughs> if I can get it in the hole. Yeah, that's what. All right. So we have our first one in. And then we're going to stack the other piece that we want. You know, you can just see the crimp on the uh, top there. Okay. 
and we'll set the cap on it as you can see okay now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our set tool now on this one you notice the bottom of these are flat so this set tool comes with a little anvil where one side of it's flat and the other side of it is has that little inner dome shape we don't need that to set this one what i like to do is that i have this little metal it's a steel this, this round piece i honestly don't remember where i found it at um, but uh, something like that works really well or if you have a small jeweler's anvil like this one these work really well for setting rivets and snaps and stuff on also I like this one because it has quite a bit of weight to it this actually weighs more than that anvil but what you want to do is you just want to set it down on a, on a flat piece and then we're going to take our setter with the dome side against the cap and you want to make sure you take the time to line that up properly otherwise you may end up putting dents in the top of your cap and it won't look that good um, after the fact so we want to make sure we have it centered straight up and down over and then you want to take something with a little heft to it so i'm going to use um, this uh, hammer here with the uh, hardened uh, plastic ends and then with just a couple of good wax so i like to hit it once and then check it okay and that's that's set pretty good but not completely so i'm gonna go ahead and do it again making sure that we're centered over it okay so now as you can see we have a nice tight fit but one thing i like about these rivets is that you can still it won't set it so tight that you don't have uh, movement so that's why you'll see these used a lot when you do uh, armor pieces uh, that, that need to be able to move and flex. But that is set. That's not going to come loose. Um, now, if, if you're going to set a rivet in an area where there's going to be a lot of pressure, a lot of pulling all the time, it's not just kind of for decorative or at the end of a stitch line or something, you may end up wanting to use a, uh, a copper rivet. And I'm going to end up doing a separate video on how to set those also. But um, the rapid rivets and the uh, double cap rivets, this is a rapid rivet. I showed you it's flat on this side, has a cap, a dome here. A double cap um, has this dome on both sides. So if both sides of the project are going to be viewable, like let's say on a knife sheath or you know a bag or a satchel you're doing, you can use these on both sides and you have that nice polished dome and not this flat piece that can be kind of an eyesore. Well, all right, guys. Well, that's my uh, video on how to set rapid and double rivets. Um, now, the double rivets, like I said, it's exactly the same, um, except when you set it, you'll, you'll use your little dome, your little anvil here that comes with it. Like I said, this is the part that has the uh, the dip. So you would set your, curve, your, the, your cap down in it, like I said, you'll have another dome here. You'll take your setter, put it over the dome, hit it two or three times, make sure you have a good set on it that you're uh, lined up. You know, it's you set them exactly the same way. Um, which actually, I can, I'll do one real quick, just so I'm going to go ahead and punch two more holes in this. Make sure that... Uh, That way we'll do we'll do one of each just for thoroughness. Alright, so so I'm just using my same handheld punch. Alright, so we're through. lock that back so I don't cut myself and these are just uh, brass colored uh, rapid rivets it's exactly the same thing you just saw me set okay so 
So these are double caps. As you can see, these are the uh, ends that have the post on them in here. Um, these are uh, a size medium, which I think will work through this thickness of leather. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Get that set there. So we'll get one of those out, and then we'll get out a cap. And I'll show you the difference. As you can see there, the post on this one is exactly the same um, as you saw on the rapid rivet. Except, you know, the rapid, rapid rivet here, as you can see, it's flat on the bottom of the post. Whereas with this one, it's a nice, it's a nice dome. So that's going to look good on both sides of your project. Okay, so... Get back out a little bit here. So we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to take the uh, post. We're going to put it up through the hole in our leather. Now with this one, this one may not be. Yeah, so we're going to get that put in there. And then I'm going to put the cap on. Okay. So as you can see already, you know, that looks, that's going to look a lot nicer on the front and back than that rapid rivet. But, you know, if, if you're putting this on something where it's never going to be seen, like on a belt keeper, you know, or something like that, then, you know, it's fine, whatever. You know, if nobody's going to see it, these do hold well as long as they're set properly. But if it's something that, you know, people are going to be able to see constantly from both sides, these double cap rivets are the way to go. Now you don't want to set that like we did on this one with a flat, you know, surface or an anvil. If you do, you'll end up flattening this out and it's going to look like garbage. So what we want to do is we'll use our, our the one with the dome on it. Okay, so as you can see, it's curved here. So what we're going to do is we'll take our double cap rivet and set it right down where it's concave and then we're going to line up my hand out of the way we're going to line it up just like we did the other one make sure we're straight up and down on it make sure we're centered in our anvil give it a couple good wax and as you can see you know that sets it without flattening out your uh, bottom dome too much it still has a nice shiny um, appearance to it sorry about that you can see that it's not bent or wrinkled and then on this side it's the same way we have no marks on our leather we don't have any uh, marks on our uh, rivet cap here so as you can see setting both types are it's pretty much exactly the same um, on the rapid rivets that have the flat back you can set on using, um, like I said, a piece of metal like what you see I have here, or um, you can set it on an anvil, a little mini uh, jeweler's anvil. Um, don't ever set these though on your uh, marble or granite slab. The impact of doing that can break it, especially marble. Um, I have seen people do it on granite. Um, you know, granite is a lot stronger than marble. But personally, I still wouldn't chance it. Um, if I'm going to be setting hardware, um, you know, use the appropriate appropriate tools. Um, now, like I said, I will have another video coming out here soon on how to set copper rivets. Um, they're also called saddle saddle rivets. But in, in my opinion, they're some of the strongest rivets you will ever use. Um, you know, I weigh 290 pounds. I'm six foot four. And, you know, I can put two copper rivets in uh, two straps. You know, like, let's say I take a belt, cut it in half. I can overlay that, put two copper rivets in it, put that over a tree limb and hang from it. And it will hold my weight. I mean, that, that shows you, um, you know, just, just how reliable um, that hardware is. Now, it is, there's a lot more steps to, uh, to setting those. Um, and you do need a special setter. Um, a doming tool 
but uh, we'll, we'll go over that in the uh, in the copper rivet video but until then uh, thank you guys for watching my video and um, as always I'd like you to uh, click that thumbs up button and subscribe if you'd like to and uh, be on the lookout for some more leather working videos to come thanks guys